how an author gets, how do you get your ideas and how do you flesh it out and and bring it bring it to life in a book? Give us an example of any of your recent work or. So you, I have uh, various ways. So obviously I observe people for my characters, not necessarily that I speak to Priyanka and then Priyanka will end up being in a book. But you know, it's subtleties of the mannerisms when it comes to characters. Uh, some of my books I have been inspired by true events. None of them are like true true crime or something. I, I have to. So, for example, in Heist Artist, I was looking to write a crime caper. And instead of inventing a painting and then making it look like it's lost and stolen, I was at the museum in Amsterdam at Van Gogh. And, you know, they give you that thingy to go around. Audio guide, yeah. Audio guide and uh, Van Gogh happens to be the most stolen artist in the world. Something I didn't yeah. know. And one of his paintings, surprisingly, has been stolen twice. The first time it was stolen, it got recovered. The second time it went missing from an from a museum in Egypt, it's still missing. So now that becomes the backbone of the story. Okay. That if, okay. the, if the painting is missing. And no one knows where it is. Okay. You can always say that it is in India. And therefore, the whole plan of stealing okay. it and kind of passing it on came from there. Mughal again came from a technical loophole in the law that existed uh, in all around the world until 2001 or 2003, until they found a criminal and realized that they had been collecting DNA in a wrong way. So those are some true incidents. Oh. Just a little spark of incident. The whole story is fictional. Yeah. And and these, this, this, these are few of them. Some of, But my largely, when I write a story, I conceptualize what the crime would be, hmm. how it will happen, and hmm. how it will unfold for the reader and for the protagonist if the protagonist is investigating it. Okay. And everything else is, is, is as you start writing, you, once you've fleshed out the characters and the characters get a life of their own and you think a character can do this versus mm. not do that. Mm. And that's how the story rolls forward. 